What's up guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I guess this is the first sort of vlog style video on my channel. I think previously for the Evo, I've only had an exhaust video and I think two exhaust videos. So what I'm gonna do with the channel going forward is maybe just make Evo content for you guys. Stuff I do to the car, I'm gonna be doing a lot more hopefully now that there's so much free time, but basically that's what the channel's gonna be now. So, um, Right now, what are we doing? I'm going back to my parents' place where the Evo has been parked for about the last three months. So, um, prior to this, um, I parked it there, I went overseas, and then me and my girlfriend just moved into a new place. So, the Evo has been sitting for about three months. Um, I'm sure, I'm the car bell, but I'm sure it's got a thick layer of dust on it. So, I'm gonna go back to my parents' place, clean it up, um, see if it's still. T um, turns over or switches on and then um, we might clean the daily as well which you just saw in this sequence um, trust the old daily lantern all right guys just got to my parents place um, let's get to the back and check out how the UV city all right guys, so this is it. It's been three months since this thing has last moved. It's been here ever since. So, there is some dirt. There is a bit of dirt. Got grime. Looks like we have some spider webs. Oh no, in the exhaust. Yeah, okay. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Let's see around the front. Some spider webs. Um, I'm interested to see if it still starts, honestly. Let's put it up on it. Uh, so I haven't had it charging. I don't have a trickle charger. Oh, I do. I just haven't had it plugged in. But the battery has been disconnected this whole time. So I am interested to see if it still starts on. All right, that's gonna stay. Going to, so this is, um, what is this called again? A isolation, isolation switch, isolation knob. Anyway, it's like a tap, turn left to disconnect the battery. Turn it right until it's tight. Battery's connected again. Um, so got a whole bunch of, it's a pretty pretty stock build. I might do I'll do a breakdown um, in another video, but let's just see if it starts right now. Oh. Alright. Oh. It's making noises, it's a good sign. The radio is turning on. Yes, mute that. Come on, baby. All right. First time every time, eh? Turn this off again. So three months of sitting, she still starts. Does the VRX work? It does. All right. Actually, let's close it back up. Um. All right. So. The condition of this thing is, from the outside, is pretty bad. Inside looks still good. I mean, it's been sitting here, no one's touched it for three months. Um, but... I will let it run and then we'll back it out and clean it up. I might do a detail, mini detail on it. Alright, so we've moved the car out. Um, you can see a lot of the dust. Um, a lot clearer in the sun. I'll just show you the roof here then. Like... Look at that. Um, anyway, so we're going to clean slash detail the Evo today. Um, I actually do car detailing on the side. So I have a few things you can do. Basically, um, some degreaser, bug and tire removal. We will do iron remover. Uh, basically everything, maybe a clay bar as well. Basically everything, um, to prepare it for pain correction, but I won't do pain correction today. I'll leave that for when cars back at my place. But 
So for like firstly, I think we'll do we we'll just rinse it off, snow foam. Um, we'll do the wheels and then clay bar and iron remover. So we rinsed the car off, a lot of the dirt, tried to get it off but you see a lot of it's still on there. So next step is snow foam pre-soak. Um, I might hit that again with the pressure washer to try and get a bit more off but next part, snow foam pre-soak. So we have a foam cannon and some wash and wax. This isn't any not this is not any fancy kind of snow foam um shampoo if I say so I think that stuff's just a massive rip off. Um any kind of wash and wax it'll kind it will serve you well you know um as long as you're doing the right things afterwards the shampoo isn't gonna make a break um your wash or detail. So okay so we've got the foam cannon filled up. I went over the car one more time to get more of the dirt off before we do the pre-soak. Um, but, you know, not ideal. Half the car's in the sun. It is pretty hot today, so I don't really want that soap sitting on there too long. I mean, if you take this detailing stuff seriously, you got to take all this stuff into consideration. But So I'm going to pre-soak the car, then do the wheels, and then wash the soap off, and then do the contact wash with the two buckets. So we are done with the pre-soak, just rinsed it off and honestly, I mean I left the car clean but that is pretty much cleaned up most of it. I mean, there's still a bit of dirt left but you know, it got rid of most of it. So now, what you want to do next is the dirtiest part of your car, arguably, the wheels. Um, I mean you can do this before or after your pre-soak but um, I mean personal preference. Um, I'm going to do it now. So what we want to do is hit the tyres with some degreaser, the actual wheels itself with the wheel cleaner or iron remover, um, all four wheels let that sit for a bit. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Okay, so now it's time to clean the wheels. I've done the other side, but here's the rear driver's wheel. So what we've got is some degreaser for the tyre itself. I'm going to hit the tyre with degreaser, agitate with a brush for the actual wheel, have some wheel cleaner, or we can use iron remover here to get the excess brake dust off. But with these two alone you can clean a wheel as clean as it can be. So. So this is very diluted degreaser, not very acidic very soft so it's not going to um, hurt your paint or anything and then this just your general wheel cleaner iron remover in a foaming um, bottle so this will just help it kind of stick to the wheel more and get more of that brake dust <laughs> go too overboard. Um, Alright, now just with a general wheel brush, you know, dip it in. I've got a bucket of water next to me, dip it in some water and just scrub. You don't have to brush too hard. You let the um, 
product did work for you. Um, and here for the actual wheel itself. Um, so the book cleaner is doing its job. You can see a lot of the, the brake dust is stripping off. But then we also want to agitate that. Sort of got to just say, you can use any brush really. This is a boar's hair brush. Um, and just, you know, agitate all over the wheel. And that's it, just rinse off. Generally I just do the faces. If I'm gonna do the inner barrels, I don't bother with those brush. I'll take the actual wheel off, but for now we just rinse off, do the faces, and that's pretty clean. All right, so quick update. Um, we did the snow foam pre-soak rinse, did the wheels. Now we're doing the contact wash. The car's dried mostly now. The sun's gone away, which is nice, but looks like it might rain. But anyway, it looks pretty clean already, but we're gonna do the contact wash now. So we have two buckets, um, obviously wash, rinse, grid guards in both. Let's get started on that. camera died so I'm filming on a GoPro now but we finished the contact wash and the rinse next thing we want to do is iron remover and then after the iron remover we will do a clay bar so this stuff here iron remover it stinks but um, once you spray it on it will dissolve all the embedded kind of iron particles that you get from you know, exhaust fumes um, stuff like that so it's supposed to bleed purple. Um, I've never done my car with it yet actually, so I'm not sure how much iron there is in it, but I'll spray it on and then see what happens. Then we'll rinse off and do the clay bar. <laughs> So the iron remover has been sitting for about a minute. Um, there is some purple bleeding, not that much actually, but let me see if I can get this better. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess it wasn't that bad. I'm more interested to see this on the daily to be honest. Um, but yeah, let's rinse this, rinse this off and then get to the clay bar. Okay, car has been rinsed, iron remover's gone. It's looking pretty good. I must say. I don't know, this, obviously the last step is clay bar. You can still feel a little bit of something in the paint. So, 
hopefully clay bar last step will get rid of all of it. Um, what I've got is uh, just a Bowden Zone fine clay bar with some clay lube. I mean, this is not actually clay lube. I think that's us, just a rip off. This is just a tiny bit of car wash with water. And that'll do you, I think. So let's start playing this whole car. bit of elbow grease later the whole car has been clay barred it's looking pretty nice if I can get that to focus claying has been done so now final rinse and then we'll seal the paint I'm going to use for now this turtle wax a seal and shine and this is I think SiO2 paint sealant apparently it works wonders so Let's try the car. Okay, so we've got a nice little rinse off there. Now to dry the car, I'm not going to use microfiber yet. I actually have this in the Badoodad. This is a dryer. So it blows hot to warm air at the car. So two things that this serves purpose for. Now it will blow a lot of the excess water off the car and also it won't blow all of the water off, so I want it to be a little bit wet when I apply the sealant. So, let me plug that in, and then you'll see how it goes. guys so most of the water is off still a bit wet but that's what we want so now I'm going to take the paint sealant my clean microfiber one or two sprays per panel the whole roof and then just kind of buff it in It's getting hot, but just finished up the paint ceiling. As you can see, try to get a shot of our handiwork here. Everything super glossy. The back of the car. Um, so I might try to go take this. Let's take some quick photos of it, maybe. But, there you have it. Alright, I almost forgot the last thing. Where is it? Tire shine. Get that dull looking tire. Nice and shiny.
All right, we are done here. Tire shine applied. Get a good shot of that. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna go take this out, find somewhere to take some photos and maybe some video. guys uh, so I drove to the local kind of industrial zone you can see the Evo sitting right there I think I'm going to put the car in that driveway somewhere take some photos I'm gonna shoot with this camera and then um, use the GoPro to film so you guys can see how I kind of shoot my car I know I just made like a whole video of how to wash a car but hopefully this kind of <laughs> mixes up the content but yeah here's the car nice and shiny let me move into place and then I'll show you guys how I shoot okay guys welcome to GoPro audio but um this is what we're working with so as you can see I'm shooting with 50 millimeter lens um this is on a uh, Sony body actually but um let me just take some shots and you guys can kind of see the process. I'll try to cut in what it actually looks like after I take the shot. Alright guys, I think that's about it. Just finished up shooting the Evo. Um, just gonna wrap up now, head back home. Um, thanks for watching guys. I mean I know it was just a video of literally me washing slash detailing my car um, and taking photos of it but I don't know, hope you enjoyed. Um, if you liked, subscribe because I will be making more very shortly because of this whole Corona thing. I've got a lot more free time so some things to come in the future. We've got a new set of wheels to come. We've got a front splitter to build. Um, need new tires. A couple more things I want to do with Evo. I'm not sure if I'm going to touch the engine yet, but um, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram. I mean, I'll post photos there, but that's where I'm most active. But yeah, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.